Welcome back to Mega Man Character Files, the show where we look at the in-depth histories of various Mega Man characters. Today, we'll be looking at Mega Man's local maverick witch herself, Burkana. Burkana's first and only in-game appearance is in the often overlooked and underrated Mega Man Extreme 2 on the Game Boy Color. Some time after the Doppeltown incident, a new incident occurred where Reploids were seemingly dying, but not fully. They would still be alive, but it would almost be like their souls were ripped out of them, like they were hollowed shells. This incident would be called the Erasure Incident. On an island off the southern coast, known as Lagoos Island, is where Burkana was working as a Reploid researcher in the R&D department of the Reploid Laboratory. Most of her origin is unknown, though sometime during her research she found a way to rip the DNA soul out of a Reploid. The DNA soul essentially being what allows a Reploid to live and function. So while the Reploids aren't really dead, they aren't alive either. And this is what truly caused the Erasure Incident. She found out that Reploids could absorb the DNA souls of other Reploids in order to become more powerful. She then used her own Reploid creation, a knight named Gareth, in order to steal the DNA souls of the Reploids all over Lagoos Island to become as powerful as possible. After X and Zero arrive on the island and take out two of the Guardians that Burkana created, which are just two of the Mavericks that X and Zero had dealt with previously revived thanks to her, it was revealed that she had been watching them the whole time, Gareth telling her that it's time that they go and deal with X and Zero before they ruin their entire plan, but Burkana wanted to sit back and watch as she was very entertained by the two, especially X. After defeating the remaining Guardians, Gareth and Burkana would then confront X and Zero and challenge them to a final battle in the Reploid Laboratory. While Zero was dealing with Gareth, X went to fight Burkana, which Burkana was delighted to see. She knew how powerful X was and wanted to test his strength for herself, as well as take his DNA soul to empower her to become the ultimate Reploid. She also commented how she thought he was very cute, especially when he was angry. It is worth noting that despite Burkana being, well, a robot and magic not existing in the Mega Man universe, she fires out magic spells that will disable your jumping or your shooting, which can make that boss fight a little bit annoying. And, of course, in Mega Man X tradition, it is revealed after Burkana's destroyed that Sigma was behind everything. Though he does say that she went too far with her research, even Sigma thought that Burkana was way too crazy. Burkana, along with Gareth, would show up in the Sonic and Mega Man Archie comic crossover, Worlds Unite, where her and Gareth invaded the world of Golden Axe, which is actually really cool and very fitting for them. Unfortunately, that is the only piece of other media that her or Gareth ever showed up in. <sighs> the fate of so, so many Mega Man characters. And that was Burkana, similar to Gate, one of my favorite one-off villains in the Mega Man series, though she needs to get more information about her. Like, come on guys, can, can you add her to X-Dive and give more to her backstory or something? She's so interesting and one of the few characters that canonically has a crush on X, so can we get something about her, please? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Mega Man Character Files content, or just Character File content in general. And make sure that you check out our Discord server and my Twitter. Links in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.